Luka Doncic, the superstar wing player for the Dallas Mavericks. Yes, we are already saying superstar for the second year player who is putting up an insane stat line of 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 9 assists while putting the Mavericks years ahead of schedule for the rebuild after NBA legend Dirk Nowitzki's retirement. The rest of the Dallas Mavericks team leaves a lot to be desired as Chris Thomas Porzingis continues to return to form and the rest of the team being the likes of Tim Hardaway Jr. and Dorian Finney-Smith. Regardless, this does not stop Luka from leading Dallas to a top seed out in the Tough Western Conference. For today's video, we are going to see how much better the Don could be if he had players that complemented his style of play 100%. We are going to build the perfect team around Luka Doncic. Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here for today's video. We are going to be building the perfect team around Luka Doncic. So obviously this kid has been an absolute tear this NBA season. He's now a 96 overall player in NBA 2K20. So the way we are going to be doing this is I'm in an expansion draft. We have every single player available to draft alongside Luka. Now we are going to be doing this realistically. So it's not going to be a team of like Luka, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, James Hart. It's not going to be that. Um, it's going to be like Luka. Then we might get like that first or second all-star piece alongside him you know obviously some good role players a good bench and we are going to simulate a season to see just how good we do with the newly built team around Luka Doncic so let me know in the comment section below guys if you were the GM and you had Luka Doncic and you could put any players around him realistically what would your team be looking like um also if you guys do want me to continue this series drop a like on this video man help me get this video to 1000 likes so i know you want to see this and let me know which player i should do next in the comment section below um because yeah i did a series like this last year it was called building the perfect team around such and such but this is a new way of doing it that i think i'm really going to enjoy so uh we are the kansas city tornadoes that is our expansion league team so you guys are finally getting an nba team again here so uh we got luka Doncic with the first pick that's who we, we are building around and uh yeah i didn't like really plan this out on who i want to put alongside luka the i only know one player and this is actually gonna be our next pick here in the draft this is just somebody that I think would really excel alongside Luka and instantly make this team a contender. Um, well, besides Luka, of course. But that is going to be the power forward, Pascal Siakam. So obviously, he is playing off the charts for the Toronto Raptors this season. Uh, but I really like him as a second option of Luka just because I feel like he can offensively take pressure off him. He knows how to play with great players, winning a championship with Kawhi Leonard. Um, you know, like I can play off Luka or he can handle the basketball and take pressure off that way too. So I thought Pascal Siakam, who by the way is extremely underrated in NBA 2K20. I have no idea what the roster creators are doing, man. It's like this man should be a 90 overall player. But yes, that is going to be the all-star pick for this uh for this type. I guess it's like a rebuild kinda. So Luka and Pascal, I'm liking that for a little one-two punch. Um, now I'm just like, okay, now I got to go through players and see who I want. So let's look at some point guards here. Not anybody too crazy. Cause we already got some nice pieces picked up there. Um, so I'm thinking maybe somebody that can kind of, you know, cause we're going to have Luca and Pascal handling the basketball the most. So I want somebody that can kind of play off them. I was thinking maybe the John T. Murray for his defense. Um, although he's not like the greatest three point shooter. Let me go to his, uh, attributes real or attributes here real quick. Um, just because I want somebody that can play defense, but I'll shoot the three ball. So, yeah, 68 overall. So, that's not going to be too great in this circumstance. Um, also, maybe I was thinking, like, Devontae Graham. I absolutely love what he's doing for the Charlotte Hornets. Now, I don't know how he is defensively. I'm going to guess probably not the greatest. This might actually be a better way to look at it. Um, damn, Primer defense. Oh, that's Donovan Mitchell. No, no, no doubt. Okay, Primer defense, a C. That's, like, fine. The three-point shot's nice. If we decide to go this with this direction, then we're probably going to want to go for more of a defensive, like, small forward and center. Um, but, yeah, I, I like the idea of Devontae Graham, who could just knock down that three-point shot. You know, not really needing the basketball to score. Just kind of playing off Luka and be able to be a catch-and-shoot point guard, I think, would be pretty pristine. So, we're going to go with Devontae Graham. And he's not here. You know, he's solely here for offense and not really to, like, be, like, a playmaker or anything like that. So, Devontae Graham for the point guard spot. There we go. Okay. Next up, let's look at some small forwards. So, like I was saying, uh, defense would be nice. Jonathan Isaac sounds almost pristine because, um, like, he's definitely a capable offensive player. Doesn't really do a lot for the Orlando Magic in that department. I think he averages, like, 12 points per game, so he's getting there. But, man, this guy's defense, like... Him with Pascal Siakam and Luke on the perimeter like that would be absolutely crazy. Uh, Robert Covington, also always another good choice. You know, you can't really leave him wide open. Uh, Justice Winslow. Daniel House, another great addition right there. 
Um, because right now I have an 80 overall. Yeah, so I think I could definitely afford like another 81 overall player. I think that I think that seems fair right there, man. We're trying to build the perfect team, so I don't want to have like no like damn bitch ass 65 overall players. So yeah, Jonathan Isaac, I think would be absolutely awesome. I think I would actually like him more at the fourth spot, but the small forward spot also works just fine because I was a little like uh, skeptical about that going into the season, but he's doing fine at that spot for the Orlando Magic. So yeah, uh, his job's gonna be to go out there and handle the best defender because that way, like Luca. Because Siakam and Isaac here can definitely focus on the defense end of things. And Luka can just be like an offensive god. And then, of course, Devontae Graham. So, there we go. Okay. Now we need a starting center. Let's look at the center position. Oh, man. I have no idea. Like, do we want more of a floor spacer? Do we want somebody that can just kind of crash the boards? Uh, Miles Turner would be a great addition because he's not like the greatest rebounding center. Which is okay, because, you know, Luke is going to grab the boards. Jonathan Isaac can do so. Um, I like him as a rim protector. Obviously, as a floor spacer also. Dwight Howard's been doing some nice things. Uh, Brooke Lopez has been a great shot blocker, too. I think Brooke Lopez, honestly, would be a great addition to this team as the starting center. I mean, even Aaron Baines, like what he's been doing this year as like a stretch five. Let me check out his stuff real quick here. Is he like a shot blocker, rebounder, or is he mostly just kind of shooting these days? Uh, yeah, per, all right, interior defense 74, right below the position average, shot block not great, so yeah, probably not the greatest choice with him. Um, yeah, like I was saying, Brooke Lopez, I know his shot blocking's been great, three point shot, he's definitely gone down to that department this season, so probably not the best choice right here either. He's got pretty good interior defense, 91 shot block, so he's got that going for him. Um, and then, of course, I was talking about, like, Miles Turner, who I think can really bring it, too. Just because, you know, Isaac, while he is good offensively, um, I mean, teams aren't going to go out there exactly double-teaming him. So, yeah, Miles Turner, 84 three-point shots. Because I'm kind of thinking around, like, that Giannis type of offense for Luka. You know what I'm saying? Uh, interior defense, 87 overall, 90 shot block. Defense, also, oh, I'm sorry, uh, rebounding also not that great. But Luka and Pascal should be able to clean that up. So, yeah, Miles Turner is kind of who I'm leaning towards. I'm going to go with Miles Turner as the starting center for this team. So, overall, I think that's the pretty that's a pretty damn good, perfect starting five. And I don't think it's, like, outlandish. It's not that we have, like, all 90 overall players. We have an 88, and then we have three 80 overall guys out there. So, next up, uh, we need the bench unit. So, uh, man, I guess we'll probably go to a small forward first. We'll just kind of look at those. And those I'm going to try to keep under, like, 80 overall players. I think that kind of seems fair. So... Yeah, we got Joe Harris, Daniel House. I was talking about Daniel House earlier. I think I'm going to go with him. Not like any like real reason, just a nice 3 and D type of guy. You guys know I like my 3 and D players. So, yeah, let's go with Daniel House there. Um, let's look at a backup, probably a backup point guard next. Maybe more of a playmaker this time. You know, somebody that you can give the ball to and have him make plays for others just because that's not what Devontae was really drafted for. So... Uh, yeah, what we got, man? DeJounte Murray. I mean, if you want to go with the more defensive-oriented route... Uh, yeah, there we go. He's perimeter defense, inside scoring, and playmaking. Completely different than from Devontae Graham. So, yeah, DeJounte Murray will be the backup point guard to this team. Or, honestly, could start at times, too, depending how you want to run the lineups. So, there we go. Uh, let's look at a backup center next. I think this time around, I do want, like, more like the traditional rebounding defensive guy. Just so we have him out there if needed. Uh, so what do we got? We got Mason Plumley, Aaron Baines, Nerlens Noel, Thomas Bryan, Derek Favors. I actually like Derek Favors quite a bit. I think he's kind of underrated, um, but he's not really going to be throwing too many shots back. Daniel Tice would be nice for some switchability. Uh, Robert Williams, 76 overall player. Yo, what's Willie Colley Stein doing? He's got the, uh, I don't think he's a very good rebounder though, is he? Yeah, his rebound, he'd be, okay, he's B minus, so he's like fine at that spot, I guess. What about like Zubach? If Zubac has a good shot block, I'm going to go with him for the backup center of this team. Um, he's got 87 for that and 88 defensive rebound. Literally the perfect center for this team. There we go. Let's go and draft him. Okay. Um, next up, we are going to look for a shooting guard. Uh, pretty much, once again, just like a guy that can play off Luka. Because Luka can, of course, play the small forward position if absolutely needed. Uh, JJ Reich would be kind of interesting. Gary Harris, RJ Barrett, Luke Kennard, um, Tyler Hero, Roberson. Yeah, Roberson got not really going to take like the pressure off of him though. Avery Bradley, Wesley Matthews. Like what? Like Avery Bradley would be fine. I mean, he's a smart, intelligent player. Can get to the basket. Can uh, do his thing offensively and perimeter lockdowns. So, yeah, definitely somebody that can play Luke on the court. And then now well, we just need like a backup power forward. 
Um, not anybody really in this case that I'm really leaning heavily towards to. Because we have... Who is our backup center? I forgot who our backup center was. Yeah, it was uh, Zubat. So, once again, uh, with Zubat and Jante Murray, probably more of an offensive stretch big, I say would probably be the smart choice here. Um, Taj Gibson, Ursan, Ilya Sova, Christian Woods been nice, Rui Hachimura. Maybe Thaddeus Young. Yeah, Thaddeus Young, good athletic player, also brings the offense. Uh, not really like... Like, well, it says right there, inside scoring, basketball, IQ, and three-point scoring. So, defensively, not going to bring you all that much, but offensively, we know we can get it done. So, there we go. We'll go with that. And, uh, yeah, we got about four more spots here. Not really anybody I'm going to use all that much. I'm actually probably just going to go with those rotations. We'll just go ahead and kind of fill out this with, like, just bitch-ass players. Because that's my 10-man rotation. So, yeah, that is looking pretty good there, man. Uh, I am going to go ahead and finish up this draft real quick here. And I'm going to do my lineup, so I'll see you guys at the beginning of the Kansas City Tornadoes' first official NBA season. Okay, so here is the team going into the regular season. At point guard, we got Devontae Graham, shooting guard Luka Doncic, the wonder boy of this video, the poster boy of this video, Jonathan Isaac at the three, Pascal Siakam at the four, and Miles Turner at the five. And of course, for the bench, we got the Jonte Murray Zubac, uh, Thaddeus Young, Daniel House, and Avery Bradley for our 10-man rotation. Absolutely loving this team. I think this team right here honestly could be like... I don't know if Luke is playing up to par. Like a 54 or 55 win team. That seems about right. Uh, first scoring option will, of course, be Luka. Second, we are going to go with Pascal. And third, I'm thinking probably Devontae Grant. Uh, maybe Miles Turner. Uh, yeah, Miles Turner. We do want to play through Luka, our star. We are going to go with shoot at will. And all that stuff seems pretty good out there, man. We got Millen Mack as the coach. So maybe we can actually go out there and find ourselves a better coach, too. Um... Maybe I'll add that few in the future. I'll like do like the, also like the perfect coach. But uh, for now, we're going to go with my guy, Michael Stafer. Myself, Chris Flakes. Not really me, but he's actually a real person, I guess. So that's interesting. Uh, Since proficiency, three-star pace and space system. See if anything else looks better. We got the triangle offense and a balance system. So uh, yeah, I guess what's, what's Luke like? He likes it all. He's good with everything out there. So pace and space seems fine. Um, guys, we are going to go ahead and simulate this NBA season and see how this new look Luka Doncic team can really do. Okay, we are at the end of the regular season. A record of 71 and 10, guys. Which, to me, that's pretty damn near close to a perfect team. We got one more game here against... Who else but the Dallas Mavericks? You know what, man? Yeah, simulate through day. There we go. There we go. Yeah, they went 20 and 61. So, you want to save the importance of Luka to the Mavericks? Look at that. Look at that, man. MVP Luka Doncic in this video. 23 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists. Averaging a triple double 45% from three. So, not gonna lie, the scoring I was expecting to be a little higher, but um, you know, when you have like Pascal and Devante out there, uh, of course, those guys also need to score the basketball. John Moran, rookie of the year, Nurkic as six man, Kawhi defensive player, Luca most improved, and Michael Stay for Crispy Flakes as coach of the year. Uh, all NBA first team, Luca making that, all NBA second, and all NBA third looking like that. Uh, all defensive teams, so yeah, none of our other players winning awards, but it's okay. They all fed off of Luka, so number one seed in the Western Conference. Easier said than done in that department. Let's go with these player stats. So yeah, Luka played good. Uh, Miles Turner, actually the second leading scorer. Uh, much of that is just because 2K is completely disrespectful towards Pascal Siakam. Uh, they have him just completely unprogrammed the wrong way in this game. I don't know what, I don't know why, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, Miles Turner, 17 points, 6 rebounds, played great defense. Uh, Devontae Graham, 15 points, 6 assists, and he shot 41% from 3. Look at Miles at 42 from 3, and then of course 39 from Pascal, um, who, you know, did still play good basketball. Not bad, but not up to his all-star self that he normally is at. Zubac was great as a backup center. Uh, Dejounte Murray, you know, 11 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, playing good defense. Uh, Jonathan Isaac with a good all-around Stat lines right there, not asking to do too much, but doing just enough and everything. So, uh, yeah, this team definitely worked out perfectly. Now, of course, the goal is to win the NBA championship. 72 and 10 does not guarantee that. Um, we still got to get past the Clippers and the Lakers and teams like that in a seven-game series. Here we go. Simulate round against the Minnesota Timberwolves. See how this goes. Watts is just loose to the Timberwolves, and that's just the end of it, man. That's just the end of it right there. Nope. Uh, we got them four games to zero, actually. So... The good thing is, is that we are not in, like, the Lakers and Clippers bracket, so those teams are all going to beat up on each other, which works out good for us. But we got 24 for Siakam on 9 for 9 shooting. Just playing amazing. Devontae, 23 points. Lucas, 17, 13, 9, 2. 8 turnovers, but, you know, he's handling the basketball a lot, too. Uh, at least he's got, you know, more assists than turnovers. I guess that's something to be happy about. Okay, next up, Houston. Houston, we have a problem. It's Luka. 
It's Luka, man, although we also have a problem. It's uh, James Harden. But we got them uh, four games to one. There we go. Saw that 3-1. So triple-double for Luka, 35-11-10. And, and James Harden playing nice. Uh, next up, we do have the Clippers. Uh, yeah, I'm still a little scared of this team. I'm always scared of the, yeah, I'm always scared of the Clippers and simulations. 2-2-3-2-3-3. Two, two, three, two, three, three, and we get to the NBA Finals after beating them in a clutch seven-game series. Let's see what happened. Luka happened, guys. 38, uh, 31 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, 12 for 15 shooting. Siakam with the 14 and 7. And Miles Turner is actually playing so much better than I really expected him to in this. But uh, it's all good. So, here we go. We got the Milwaukee Bucks. Are we going to win? The championship in the first episode of the series. Let's see. Looking like it. 3-0, 4-0, guys. We swept the Milwaukee Bucks. Luka Doncic as your finals MVP. Scoring down in this one, but uh, the assists and rebounding way up. So 19 points, 13 rebounds, 12 assists per game. I say this was definitely a success. We definitely build the perfect team around Luka Doncic. I do want to go to the playoff stats just to see how everybody performed there overall. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's what it's looking like. So, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. This was a ton of fun to make. I definitely want to do more of these. I just have to get, uh, you know, in the right mindset where, um, because obviously, you know, as a YouTuber and as a basketball fan, I do have, like, certain favorite players and type of players. So, I just got to get in the mindset of, okay, Crispy, don't go and get Miles Turner every single video. Don't get Pascal Siakam every single video. So, really, my goal for these is to try to like switch it up and try not never to use like the same player twice unless it's like okay this guy is absolutely the perfect fit i gotta use them again but yeah man hope you guys all enjoyed thank you all so much for watching and peace out my friends